Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, not much news overnight in the grains. Markets are slightly lower. Uh, we've got the uh, dollar a little bit higher, U.S. stocks a little bit lower, and the uh, crude market kind of mixed right now. Um, there is some talk that maybe Russia and Ukraine might come to a peace accord. Uh, that might be uh, shuffling some of the global financial markets around. Um, as far as the other news, um, we got the USDA report yesterday. The market uh, broke on what some people thought was friendly news, with the USDA raising uh, U.S. bean demand and also raising corn demand a little bit. Um, but when you look at the private analysts' uh, reports after the, after the USDA numbers, most of them still have a bean carryout higher than USDA. Uh, the corn carryout might be also just a little bit higher, uh, and the wheat carryout uh, is is higher than what the government is saying. Um, for 15 and 16, everybody is still looking at higher bean acres, maybe a little bit lower wheat acres here in the United States, and maybe just unchanged to a little bit lower corn acres. We plug in trend yields, and we have a corn carryout that's about unchanged from what the USDA is saying, but we have a higher wheat and a higher bean carryout. And the market thinks that as we progress into March, uh, the market may actually trend a little bit lower uh, because of that. Forecast. As always, we'll be looking at weather. Here in the Midwest, we're going to get cold this weekend. Uh, long range maps still suggest uh, normal temps and normal to maybe a little bit below normal precip for much of the Midwest. And uh, most climatologists believe this pattern is going to change into the spring and allow normal range for most of the, of the Midwest, which should also be a little, little bit negative to the marketplace. We saw a report from the USDA yesterday that net farm income is supposed to drop 22% in 2015, uh, the biggest drop since the 1930s year on year. And I think this is due to, to lower corn and soybean prices. So again, uh, 2015 is year to think a little bit outside the box if you're a producer and maybe buy some bean puts or uh, maybe sell some corn and buy some calls. Uh, if a trend yield, there's not a lot of leeway in the corn. So if you do sell cash corn, make sure you protect it with the calls and and make sure you do the uh, sign up for the uh, crop insurance and because um, this is your only safety net if prices either go lower or if yields go lower. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM and ADM Investor Services and have a safe and profitable trading day.